Hi guys, hope you're okay. Little catch up video today. So if you're watching this video as it comes out, there's just over a week until hopefully Santa makes his appearance. I know this time of year can definitely get a little bit stressful. So I hope you're all doing okay. I know for myself, the past two, three months, work has been super busy, but also life has definitely been throwing a few stressful situations for both myself and Mrs. Golf, my dad. So hopefully 2025 will be a little bit less stressful for the Golf My Dad family. So I'm actually picking the boy up in about 30 minutes. I've popped down to Tapton, which is en route, just to get some steps in, get a bit of fresh air. Definitely helps me just to help clear my head when life gets a little bit stressful at times. So that's why I thought we'd just have a little catch up on here. So talking Santa, let me know in the comments below. If it's something golf related, let me know what you're hoping Santa is gonna bring you. And there's a few little golf things I definitely need. I need some wedges. Potentially, I could get that hack motion I've been reviewing recently. So I'll see if I'm on the good list or the naughty list. Let's just get through here. I think I'm going. We are on to the 16th tee. In the background there. There's a driving range, a new bar actually opens up later this tea time. Pay that a visit tonight. So whilst we're out walking as well, just a little Golf My Dad sales push. So if you're watching this, as we said, as the video goes out, there's still a week to Christmas. So if you're still looking for a little stocking filler for the Golf My Dad, if you're a Golf My Dad, if you've got a Golf My Dad in your life, then go check out the Golf My Dad website. We have the bobble hats, and gotta say, these have been selling really well. I have them in their alto blue here. Navy blue and a black and a gray color. Gotta say the alto blue has been the best seller so far. We have the valuables pouches, which has been great. Quite a few people ordered those, putting all the valuables in, obviously. We've got the towels and also the gift set. So if you're still looking for that stocking filler, you've still got time to get your orders in. So go check out the website golf my dad and for those of you who've purchased already really big thank you really appreciate it and can't wait for 2025 to hopefully see you guys with tagging me in the photos that you've been using the products and wearing the products out on the golf course so don't forget if you get a product for christmas and you're watching this make sure you tag me in on the social media find me over facebook tiktok instagram so get tagging away guys so while we're getting these steps in, so the past week, two weeks, I've borrowed a hack motion. You might have seen a video where I gave a little review on it. Gotta say, it's quite addictive. I actually used it last night. In fact, while we're out walking, I will get this little video out just to show you guys. Let me set my screen record and I will play this at the same time. So now a couple down the tapped and range have seen me using the hack motion, been asking about it. Would I recommend it? Would I not? And to be honest, I definitely recommend it. But again, like I spoke to a guy yesterday, it's all about understanding the data. So if we have a little look at here, what's really cool with this, this is in a replay of one of my swings. So I go to extension at the top and then flexion with a bit of shaft lean at the bottom on there. What it keeps diagnosing for me, and this is where it's a pro and a com, would you buy it? I get a little bit of extension at the top, which I don't mind, but it's when it gets a little bit excessive, which leads to an open face. Then I have to control that down. But that's the little motion on there. Right, turn that screen recording off. Right, so as I was saying, in terms of the data, you do have to have a little understanding, but the app does really talk you through the solutions really well as well. But for me, when I get my too much extension in my wrist, one of the reasons also is that I get too tight. So when my body is tight, I struggle to get in the positions what I want to get to. 
So some days when I'm really tight, if I really try to get in these positions, I just physically can't. So obviously that's something what the hack motion can't diagnose. So you have to be videoing your swing, really understand how your body works, but it does give me solutions as to why in terms of my swing, I might be having too much extension. One, it picked up an inside takeaway, which I definitely suffer with from time. So I've been using it for I've probably at three, four sessions now. Actually really been enjoying it. Gonna give it back to the person who I borrowed it from. But I think it might have to go on my Santa's wish list as I could definitely use that going forward in the future. So would I recommend it? I definitely would. And if you love a bit of data like myself, definitely worthwhile the purchase on there. So in the past week, two weeks, I've also been helping a couple of people out with the swings and both with a bit of fitness. So down on the driving range, just a few people asking for a little bit of advice. Always like to try and help when I can. Also online, I've had quite a few messages about how I train in terms of the gym, especially into my speed trainers. There's a lot of you guys down there wanting to add speed. The one thing to prioritize is definitely the health. So we have to be strong enough flexible enough to reduce the chances of injury. So I've messaged a few people with a few programs to help them along the way. But in 2025, a little bit of the teaching, swing teaching, especially speed strength training is what I want to help out with you guys as well. So stay tuned for that in 2025. Definitely something I want to go down. A little bit of the teaching route, definitely into the strength and the fitness and the speed speed side offering some programs for you guys down there so as I said stay tuned for that all right little back view there and back down the fourth couple of golfers coming down so I don't want to get in their way guys there's a little something down here in a bit what I want to show you as well which I don't know how many people actually know about that but we will find that in a bit let's have a go through here so as it's Christmas, New Year, we're all going to set ourselves new goals. My goals is definitely to get a more structured routine for my training. As I mentioned at the start, the past two, three months has definitely been quite stressful. So to fit my training in, sleep has definitely been tough. So I've definitely got to try and prioritise getting some proper sleep, trying to switch this brain off which is definitely tough at times. My goal in terms of my fitness and my training, I'm not really doing as much speed training at the moment. I'm back in gym mode, so getting my strength training. So my speed at the moment, it's around 127, 128 miles an hour without really pushing speed. But over the next few weeks, that is something I'm gonna really ramp up. Now I'm getting a little bit stronger in the gym. I, my goal is to get back into the 130 club. My record is 137 mile an hour club head speed, which was two, three years ago. So now I'm 45. I want to see how fast I can. Can I get to 140? That's the dream. Is it realistic? We'll give it a go. I'm going to get a really good blitz out in 2025. So let me know in the comments what your goals are, what you're working on over this winter time. What's your goals for the next year? Are you coming back stronger? faster you want to increase your speeds which will obviously help through the bag or just your golf game in general as i said there's a couple of people who have messaged me wanting to add speed over the winter so i'm trying to help those people as well which will then hopefully go throughout their bag add distance to all the clubs throughout their bag so let me know what your goals for 2025 are mine is definitely always to prioritize my family i love spending time every day with my boy, it's nice to grow a business for the full-time day job with Mrs. Golf Mad Dad. Really want to grow the Golf Mad Dad branding as well. Really want to keep growing on YouTube, grow the website, the gift insights. So obviously, once this Christmas, if you're watching this after Christmas, it's not just a Christmas gifting. There's Father's Days, there's always birthdays. So it's something that hopefully my products and my brand people will keep continuing to buy and as the brand grow as as the brand grows it'd be really cool to keep seeing people wearing the products when we're out and about but it's just nice to get some fresh air guys the head definitely feels a lot clearer it's hard when you're on the computer for me all day 
editing a lot, the full-time day job, sat on the computer all the time just to get out. It's just nice to switch this head off. That's what's so good with golf, just to get out in the fresh air, obviously in winter conditions, especially here in Derbyshire, it's getting wetter, it's all clay base. But just to get out, have a walk. Normally would be hitting my golf balls, but we've only got half an hour. Right, so I've got another two, three minutes walk to a little area What I'm gonna show you guys, and you'll see, you might not know that this even exists here at Tapton Golf Club. So let me go wander and we will chat in a couple of minutes, guys. Right guys, so I'm just entering the secret, or is it a secret here at Tapton? Let me know. Do you even know this exists? But this is, if we have a look here, the little burial ground, which over there is the fourth tee area, or the current fourth tee. So basically this is the Markham burial ground. So Charles Markham lived in Chesterfield from 1864. Tapton House was a family home from 1873 to 1925. The burial ground, a part of this original Tapton estate was consecrated for the burial of his wife, Rosa, on the 20th of April, 1912. Rosa, was the daughter of Sir Joseph Paxton, who built the Crystal Palace. Hmm. Didn't know that. Since then, many family members have either been buried or had their ashes inserted here. So in 1925, his son Charles Paxton Markham actually gave Tapton House together with the estate to the Borough Council for the benefit of the inhabitants of Chesterfield. The Markham name has become known globally for its industrial and mining expertise, social achievements, and boundless, as <laughs> I spell it, philanthropists. Obviously, if you know Tapton, Tapton House, up in the distance through from here. So, secret-ish. Burial ground, not far off from where you tea. Always like a bit of history, and I think also because it's gifted, it has to stay a golf course, I think, around here. So I don't want to be too disrespectful on here, but there's a little, let's just uncover that one. So we have Ernest Markham. 1867, 1888. There's more here, bless. Wow. The news is here, but I've not really fully looked. But I do love a good history document. So there's himself, Charles Markham, bless. 1823 to 1888. Ah, here we go. I did not know this was here. So this looks like, so this was Rosa. Rosa Markham, daughter of Joseph Paxton, 1840 to 1912, does it go on? Looks like that's the three main ones. So there you have it guys, a little bit of history there, what goes with Tapton Golf Course. Let me know, you said, did you know this area even existed? You even got the nice little bench with the family motto. Right guys, a little bit of history there. So if you're down Tapton Golf Club, see if you can find it for yourself. Pay your respects to the little memorial and the history, what goes with this place. So that's a little catch up. Got about another 10 minutes before I have to get back to the car. Go pick the boy. So I've got to get some more steps in. Keep the mental well-being going. We had a fresh air. So good to catch up guys, back to filming more content, actually booked in with LeisurePod tomorrow morning early, film a couple of videos, 
on there. A couple of reviews what are coming soon. So we'll chat soon. Hope you like these little vlog style catch up. You get to know me a little bit better. Definitely making use of the new Action 5 Pro camera. Makes it a lot easier to do the videos like this. So have a good weekend, guys. One week's all Santa. Hope you're all on that good list, right? Speak to you soon, guys.